So in this video, I'm going to talk about the challenges I had tensioning the boxing wires on this Stinson wing here. Uh, the first thing I noticed uh, was that the, uh, the nuts were all wrong. The owner changed the nuts and they were supplied by Univer. They gave, they gave them thin uh, steel lock nuts. It really should have uh, self-locking plastic nuts. And I added washers because there's lots of threads on there. They're in a slotted hole on those little spacers. Uh, these wings are pretty beefy. They, uh, they have all these ribs and compression tubes and everything in them. And uh, when you put tension on these wires, the wing doesn't change. It's not like a Piper Cub uh, with a wooden spar. And uh, another thing you're going to notice is that uh, the end rib here is the only thing holding it from being compressed. Uh, there's nothing there. There's no boxing uh, tube or anything like that at the far end of the wing. On this rib, they've got a U-channel in here to try and uh, stop it from compressing. So the tension on these wires is so low that it calls for in the book that it's really difficult to do it properly. I'm just going to go over how I, I checked to see the, how it was boxed correctly. So the only thing that's straight on these wings that, that, that has a, uh, a reference point would be these holes that hold the struts. So I put bolts in those struts and I dropped a, uh, a square down and I drew a line on there. And then I measured, I measured to uh, some points on the wing, like one here, and then I went the same distance down to there. And then I went right down to the end here and put another mark. And so I could use the same trammel. And when you adjust these wires, nothing really happens. You'd have to put one hell of a pile of tension on it to change the shape of these wings because of all these, uh, these ribs and compression tubes. So I'm going to go over uh, the tool that I used to check the tension on these. Like you can see here. There's no tension on those hardly at all compared to a Piper Cub. You pull on those with a five, about five pounds and it moves a half an inch. I've got another wing over here. These ones, these ones are all tensioned correctly as well. It might be a little easier to see it with on the same angle, but that's, uh, that's pretty loose. Like I'm barely even pushing on that. That's 74 pounds tension. And then they progressively get higher all the way down to the end here. Like that one there. And then I get all the way down to the very end and there's 90 pounds tension. And if you put more than 90 pounds tension on this wire here, you're going to change the dimension of these uh, fittings on the end. You're going to suck that in. And I don't know whether it's going to fit the airplane. I probably will, but it's, uh, you shouldn't put more tension on it than what they call for in the book. So I have the manual. Here's a, here's a picture of the manual. It shows 90 pounds tension on the wires at the wing root and all the way down to 74 at the other end. And uh, so I made a tool. This is a, uh, a tool I copied the, uh, the flying wire tension tool that is way too big to get in on this wing. So you can see I put bearings in here and, and I put a torque wrench on it and I compress it till it touches that. You can see it, it touches there. So I made a video earlier showing how I, uh, how I calibrated this tool, but I was wrong. Uh, I, I did it wrong. I didn't fasten the end. Uh, I had a weight hanging, a 90 pound weight and a 74 pound weight. And uh, because when the rod is attached at both, both ends, when you put a, uh, a tension checker on it, it increases, when you bend the, uh, the rod, it increases the tension quite a bit. So it was incorrect. It, uh, it didn't work as expected. So I'm going to show how I recalibrated that tool on my rig upstairs. So this is the rig that I use to check the tension. It's got a scale mounted up at the top and I have a rod mounted in there right now. You can see it goes down to a, a rod down here and it's attached over here. And uh, I can turn this screw jack and change the tension on it. It's got a screw threaded all the way down there, so I can change that. It pivots right there, and it goes there, 
And so what I can do is I can turn this on. And then I can increase the tension on that. I'll see if I can hold it still here. So that's putting tension on that rod. And now it's stationary at both ends. So I got like 92 pounds. And then you have to kind of give it a little pull to make sure everything's stabilized. And it takes a few tries to get that to stay at 90 pounds. I'm gonna go up higher and give it a little yank. So I've been pulling on that. So that's at 92 pounds. That's pretty close to 90 pounds right now. So when I did it, I had it exactly 90 pounds. I'll set the camera up here and I'll show you the tool, how I worked it. Okay, so I've got my tool here that I made and I'm gonna put it on the rod and these bearings, there's two bearings at each location there at the ends and it rolls on those nice and easy and this little part here contacts here and I'm gonna tension that with a torque wrench until it just touches and read what the torque is. So this is 90 pounds tension on there right now and it's reading like 52. 52 pounds and notice that the, the, uh, the tension on the scale increased to like 108 pounds so it increases the tension quite a bit because the ends are fixed if you do it with just a weight on there it uh, it won't give you the correct indication on the airplane okay so here we are we have the rock the tool installed in the wing It's really difficult it won't go in the middle because there's so much stuff in the way on these wings but I've got it so that it rolls and I pull it till it just touches and I read about 50, it's over 50. So I know that I've got more tension than what's necessary, but it feels like it doesn't have any tension on it at all hardly. So like, you know, that's 90 pounds. I can, I can move that like nothing. So as you can see, I made a, I made a chart uh, when I used that tester upstairs. So this was the small rod. Uh, it went from uh, at 90 pounds. It only changed a bit, but it was 35 pounds at the maximum tension, and then it went down to 30. So, and I also wrote down how much pull it, uh, it took to move it a half an inch, and it, so it ranged from 6 to 7.5, so I could just double check it quickly, and, it, and it's pretty close. So, I also wrote down the big one. I only wrote it down on one, but I did check it to see that it changes. Uh, it was at 90 uh, pounds tension. It was 52 pounds on the torque wrench. And uh, that was the large wire that I tested on the wing itself. And uh, so it's not an exact science, but uh, it's probably closer than anybody else is doing. So I, I hope this is helpful for somebody that's working on a Stinson wing or even uh, if they're working on uh, any kind of a wing that has boxing wires on it, so it, it might give them a clue that maybe they're they're putting way too much tension on these things. They uh, once you straighten out a wooden wing, you know uh, you don't need any more tension on it hardly than that because the uh, the wire isn't going to stretch, and if it does, it's going to break. So I hope somebody finds this helpful. Have a great day.